Oh, okay. hey. John, nice to be speaking Hi, with you. Hi, Patrick. Oh. Oh. Tagal ko nang gusto ng ganitong conversation with you na yung panangyari. <laughs> Oo. Oh, dami kong tanong. Okay. Pero ngayon, okay. tungkol sa isang pelikula lang ang pag-uusapan natin. Sige. Game. Okay. Uh, we still have to close our eyes on title. Okay. So, siguro mauna ang basic question ko muna ay kailan mo ito sinoot? Um, Gano'ng katagal ito ginawa? Hmm. So, 2017 ko naisip yun na, ano, na, na umpisahan. Um, inisip ko kasi ano eh, um, at that time, parang 2018, kami, ano, nagkaroon kami ng baby, March 2018. No? So, 2017 pa lang, inisip ko na, paano yan? Hindi na ako makakafilm, no? Parang sinasabi nila, pag ano ka na, pag may anak ka na, hindi na pwede. <laughs> Ganon. So, ano, nag-iisip na ako ng paraan. Tama ba ito? Paano yan? O nga, no? hindi na ako masyado makakalabas, hindi na ako makakaplano, kailangan maging ano pa rin ako. Eh. Kasi gusto ko talaga, from the start, alagaan doon ako sa ano sa for, uh, from uh, for my wife and my my kid no paano kaya yon na makaka makaka-formulate ako ng plan in terms of process no na workflow na pwedeng ano pwedeng mahack into ano into making and being a father at the same time so inisip ko okay ano siya um baka pwedeng pumunta kasi may ano nga ako may may background ako sa parang medyo diary footage Um, and even a little bit of found footage, no? So, inisip ko, may ang dami kong exercises na parang um, looking beyond the screen and connecting image, eh, Im- images and imagery and uh, somehow making them, ano, um, the same space or same time. So, ano, um, ang dami possibilities sa akin, no? Na, so, inisip ko, paano kaya maglaro ako? Kunyari, magbumisita-bisita ako sa, ano, sa mga set ng, ano, ng, ng mga ibang tao. <laughs> may prop sila doon. Meron uh-huh. silang lighting doon. Eh, pangit naman na kung mag-shoot lang ako sa bahay, parang kailangan pa i-set up. Eh, medyo tamad ako eh. Parang, tsaka gusto ko. Eh, lalo na magkakababy kami. Ay, wala na eh. Ayoko na ng mga pre-prod meetings, ganyan. Ayoko na ng magplano-plano. And very at home ako sa improvisation and, ano, and recycling and upcycling and, ano, and recontextualizing things no? as a diary, as a form of a diary. So, inisip ko parang hindi naman kailangan ako yung nasa harap ng, ng, ano, ng camera palagi para to make it a diary, di ba? Uh-huh. So, why not make, make it uh, a view uh, from, from, from me, a very, a very personal view and try to, ano, to, to make stories out of things that I haven't planned on shooting. So, eh, ang, ang lakas ng idea na parang curated yung elements sa screen, no? So, miss and send palagi. So, inisip ko, pwede kayang ma- ma- ano, makagawa ako ng isang kwento out of my own visits of different spaces, different stories. At the same time, alam ko na yan, eh. Uh, at dumating na sa point na 2018, ando na yung, ano, yung, 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 yung pagiging parent, no? So, I only have three hours kasi parang may breastfeeding cycle, no? So, inisip ko, kailangan ko bumalik. Ayoko, gusto ko lang one cycle lang ako mawawala sa bahay. <laughs> as soon as naka-latch on na yung baby, pwede na ako umalis, di ba? Pwede na ako, ano, tapos babalik na lang ako kagad, no? So, inisip ko, wala akong beyond control yung, ano, yung masyashoot ko. Pero, meron naman akong experience with, ano, with looking and framing things. So, that maybe I can collate things together and see what, world building efforts or representation or image image conceptions of filmmakers as storytellers uh, oh, they're, they're uh, doing as a reaction to what's been happening in, at this time ang interesting sa akin yun eh yung uh, konsepto mo nga ng looking out of the frame and creating parang yung soviet experiment di ba na parang sa edit all spaces are connected right so sa iyo dito <laughs> for, i guess for people who have just seen the film or will see the film So we see this in the eyeline, di ba? So parang looking, mm-hmm. looking sort certain directions. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, at siguro yun, dahil din hindi naman hayag yung process, uh, except for the credits, I would imagine. No? Na, mm-hmm. Yun pala yun. So the props like the police uniform and all these things. <laughs> uh, nandun na pala yun. No? Found, ano, found production design. Pwede pala yun. Oh, <laughs> It's amazing. Kasi, kasi, oh, kasi gusto kong ano, planuhin din yung parang paano kaya... They always talk about in hybrid processes, mixed materials. No, uh, how can I? Ano, how can I trick? First of all, my my ano, my my daughter when when she grows up to say na 
ha, ginawa ko yung film na yan kahit na nandito ako the whole time. Paano ko ginawa yan, di ba? So it will be an, uh, our own encounter and our own date into watching and to telling us about processes. At the same time, gusto ko ma, ano, for the first time, gusto ko mapakita na parang, ah, makakagawa ka ng narrative film. Kunya, <laughs> or ano, or, or very, ano, um, set up and um, very expanded production kuno di ba um, which because the, the first this this ano this this short film resulting from the process is a work in progress in a way that um, i'm i'm constantly evolving and trying to improve on the process so that i would eventually um, explore more things so this is step one. this is just um, making use of imagery and and, and, and and clips no but i haven't really integrated sound into the process i'm starting oh. to crowdsource you know uh, heard sound or you know, or files from you know from other field recordists you know um, database you no know, so that i can do more diegetic sound into it um, oh. as overheard sound or even actually parang from ppb from people power bomb siya parang kunyari yun talaga yung sinasabi nila as dialogue so that's a process that i'm trying to you know trying to stay, take a uh, step uh, I, I did I did notice na ano no uh, tama there in many ways this short film is comparable to the other stuff you've made but in in other ways then may bago siya talagang ginagawa in terms of uh, yon how, how how to create the images or where to get the images in this case <laughs> how to production design so it's very interesting na malaman because I was thinking that eh. so if this according to the credits is was shot in the yon parang mga BTS ng mga ano mm. ng mga shoot so galing yung props no? so parang okay galing dun sa films <laughs> yeah. may 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 rules kami Patrick may rules kami talaga na ano so eventually naging ano ko to eh naging class ko to sa UP nga pero before niyan talagang ano yung mga interns ko dito sa Los Otros sinasabi ko para maging uniform yung framing composition yung even lighting yung settings ng camera kailangan may rules tayo so meron kaming doc file na talaga eto you shouldn't gano you shouldn't you shouldn't ano disturb the production you should be ano commensalistic you, you, sh- you shouldn't even be ano disturbing them in terms of flow and the process tapos yung framing ganito ah ano yung pakiramdam ng ano ano yung pakiramdam ng um, framing ng fiction na parang hinahayaan mong maiwanan ka ng subject pa, kasi pag doki di ba minsan parang kung umalis yung subject parang gusto mong follow palagi eh, no? so parang hintayin mo sila na bumalik parang may moments na okay mag document ka ng mga ano aalis sila pero babalik sila so parang it's a gamble how do you become invisible in sets no parang trying to ano trying to cross the lines of ano vision from other workers there to be invisible but it's also to to ano be in uh, close enough to the, to ano to where we want to be <laughs> kaya yung rules na ganun, i think you that's also part of your aesthetic na ano, process driven no? so parang you could sort of create the rules also for the process to happen right so when people imagine like a process driven kind of personal field easy pero parang anything goes but in fact it's not yeah, just the way you described it now this process driven thing is is also very methodical right so even if it's even if it's sort of open to accidents and very personal in in disposition it's highly methodical as well no so nag- nagkwento ka na ano nag- nag-shoot kayo so ngayon ko lang na imagine na may mga kasama ka pala dito so maybe say a little <laughs> bit about the may kasama ka bang prod team tapos yung mga artista ba ay kasama mo o nandun talaga or Okay, sige, two parts, no? So, ano, um, ang, ang ginagawa namin, um, three, ano, three-person crew lang palagi. Or, ano, four at most, no? Kasi ayaw namin, masyado marami. Parang, ano, hindi kami may mobile din. Parang, magsiset up kami ng Google Calendar na, ano, na shared, no? Na parang, okay, game. Kasi, pag kunyari, sa amin, nag, nagpapa, humingin kami yung pahintulot sa mga kaibigan namin, mga, ano, production managers or line producers, no? Siyempre, minsan, ah, oh, may shoot kami bukas. Kung talagang malaki kayo, parang paano na yan, di ba? So, uh-huh. ano, is kasi sa, sa class, parang kailangan may, ano, may three-man unit or, ano, three-person unit na ano, talagang, okay, ikaw yung camera, ikaw yung ano, logistics, ikaw yung sound. Yun na yung kailangan natin. So, phase, phase one pa lang to, wala pang actors. No? So, uh, knowing the rules that we have at knowing na may pahintulot tayo sa production, um, pupunta na tayo doon. Um, three hours. Pagka, sinabi ko na, pagkatapos ng three hours, alis na ako. Ah. <laughs> so, huwag natin mararamdaman na umalis na ako. So, kasi uniform na yung, ano natin, yung pagtingin natin sa, with the camera and with the sound. 
So, hindi dapat. Talagang we can function on our own. In fact, kung kunyari may isa pang shoot, dapat may isa pang unit na pwedeng pumunta doon. Ngayon, um, so, all exercise of seeing. Um, so, hindi namin pinapaarte yung, ano, yung mga kung sino man yung Anton. Phase 2 yung gagawin kung parang ongoing with with a ano, feature length thing that I want is to bring along first one or two people who will be constant ano figures in wherever we plan to ano to to shoot para magkaroon na kami ng writing involved in, in pagdating namin doon oh, ano ano kayong pwedeng mangyayari um, ano kayong dialogue ano kayong eksena so ang pinakaimportante muna ay parang yung yung protagonist um, and maybe either ano uh, some uh, a supporting character at least kahit na pa, pa wala sila ng pawala uh, pa, pa ano pa iba-iba yung, yung space and time baka meron silang constant business or activity uh, in terms of a narrative no parang ah yun na nga yung iniisip ko parang pan eh, yung yung remote avatars no yung yung pag search for for people ganyan search for ganyan na pwede kong ma stage habang nandun kami sa periphery ng produ- principal production shoot na hindi malaki na pwedeng ma- ano, magamit yung space so yun, yun. parang ano na rin no parang pandemic ano na rin i mean it's also sort of looking to a process that maybe you did not plan no? or mean na pang pandemic right <laughs> nakakatuwa nga eh kasi parang hindi nakakatuwa no na may pandemic, <laughs> pandemic no pero parang ano talaga eh parang uh, totoo yan eh parang na foresee na, no na foresee ako, na prepare ako. Yun, na prepare ako sa ganitong ano. Kaya na medyo uncomfortable nga ako minsan pag kunyari ano eh, um, may to- may ano may panel na parang natanong what's the future? What can we do? Na we can't do anything. Parang inisip ko parang we can we can do a lot of things, no? Um, pero syempre na underst- understand na parang in other modes of production, sobrang hirap 'yan, parang ganoon. I just so happens na medyo may ano ko may uh, may comfort level ako na pwede kong magawa. Ganyan. So, ano nga, yun nga, so currently I'm also teaching lockdown filmmaking in UP, which means I get to also formulate what we can do together with the students. So, a lot of a lot of these things we've been you know, thinking a lot and you know, and and maybe as a continuation to this process that I'm proposing. So, in in the end parang kahit na in between spaces yung modes of production na in ano natin, parang feeling ko viable sa na, ano, na na pag-usapan para sa mga galing. films and artists. Galing, galing, galing. So, ako balik ako ngayon dun sa isang question ko. No? So you uh so you're talking about your process, but at the same time, so it's a sci-fi film, no? So parang siguro una kong tanong ay um, kailan pumasok sa proseso? Was it in the conceptualization mm-hmm. stage uh, or sometime during shooting na sci-fi itong kwento na to? At pangalawa, mm-hmm. siguro bakit sci-fi? Yun nga eh, um inisip ko ano nung so ganito so talagang totally wala akong inisip na na, na kwento yun nga parang actually gusto ko magstay doon eh na parang ah hindi ko alam kung ano nangyari <laughs> ano may ganun ako ano eh kinikilig ako minsan parang ah, ano excited talaga ako sa process na parang ah ano kayang pwede kong makita meron na akong romanticization romanticization na ano ng parang ah baka ano makagawa ako ng ganitong film sa wakas ganyan at magmumukhang ganito wala ano pattern siya ng ng, ng images na nakuha ko from from love from eric na ang lakas ng presence ng ano ng police ng military um yung kay love yung kay uh, ang hupa ah, ano bang ano ano ang hupa Siguro, yata yun no oo oh, oo oh, oh. lakas well, ng maraming element. military sa <laughs> pelikula niya so mm. ayun nga tama tama pero ayun uh, para inisip ko um paano ko kaya ano medyo dumating yung pagiging dad ko ren kasi parang kung kung magiging magiging super ano siya super directa in terms of tone and mood. Parang inisip ko kasi si talaga si Aki yung anak namin na parang ah sobrang bleak and sobrang depressing and sobrang yeah. ganito. Um inisip ko baka may pwede akong introduce na layer na ano na parang ma-separate ko muna ng konti yung times now at the same time knowing na kahit na medyo separate yung ano yung time it speaks of our time now. So parang may ganong pag-veil ng konti of, yeah. of these things na pero na hindi siya iniiwasan na ganun. Yeah. Gusto ko lang pag-usapan namin kung kung, kung bakit ganun. Mug, nagmumukhang hindi pa ngayon. Pero ngayon talaga yan eh. Ganun. So may yeah. ano may konting tone in terms of tone pag play around with a blend of thing a thing na parang medyo comfortable ako to to serve as a starting point of discussion when we when we both see the film. 
Parang ganun. Eh, uh, so, yun. So, eh, hindi, hindi lumabas talaga ng kusa yung ano, yung kung ano man yung um, yung sci-fi, ano, sci-fi na dating ng ano, ng, ng idea. Kasi parang inisip ko, di ba, tokhang, to knock and to surrender. Parang yeah. inisip ko, paano ko kaya, paano ko kaya umpisahan sabihin yun? <laughs> <laughs> na yeah, hindi ko yeah. pwede sabihin na diretso na parang pwede actually talagang ano uh, kumatok lang sa'yo at pwede kang kunin. Ayokong ganun pa sa kanya. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah. parang pwede ko bang sabihin ah baka meron akong ano meron akong space na pwedeng sabihin na meron lang munang isang taong ano nag gumagawa na ano ng experiment na ano na pwede tayong ipa-control yung yung ano yung katawan natin. At medyo may may isang isang community na parang gusto nilang ipa-control yung sarili nila for whatever reason. Gusto ko pang do- pumunta doon sa whatever reason. Kaya nga yung structured yung narrative arc niya, kung ano man yung narrative arc niya na naplano namin ngayon to really discover and to have a journey into it. Bakit ba? Bakit ganun? Uh, and and uh, admittedly initially yun yung iniisip ko. Bakit ito nangyayari sa atin to? Pero dumating nga yung ano yung in covid nagkaroon na siya ng ano ng different ano parang shift may shift na siya kasi yung yun nga yung mom ko ay ano ay we lost because of covid no so inisip ko ah i think mabalik ako sa ano sa comfort level ko na ma- to speak about very uh, important things beyond family but starting with family you know So I I thought of maybe having this persona na parang yung feeling ng character ay this is his mom who's really who's talking to him via remotely in in terms of these devices but he still ano uh, he's also still a police officer or someone who's investigating this same ano the same setup no? pero parang ang, ang ang feeling ay parang lost conversations or continuing conversations na hindi mo na makukuha so parang ganun Yeah. Na, na, nagagandahan ako actually I'm very happy that we talked about this no kasi I think that that contribution to discussion where yun pala yung yung pala yung motivation no si Aki uh, because parang yun yung missing piece siguro sa hinahanap ko when I was trying to understand the work no so sci-fi siya it, it speaks of a very bleak future tama at the same time it only works because we recognize it's something that is happening now no so uh, and then of course tama it's also a very personal thing in that And natutuwa rin ako na kuwento mo yung process because in that nandun si Aki and uh, the viewers don't know no? si Aki and si Shireen, wife and daughter ni ay wife and child ni um, John ay <coughs> nandun sa dulo which, which to me speaks a lot about uh, really the filmmaker as uh, as a parent who imagines a future where ano ba naman tong ipunan kung saan lalaki yung anak ko no? na klase ng, uh, ng vision na ganun. So when, when you said it was about trying not trying to be at home trying to be a dad it it made so much sense really coming together and this explanation of sci-fi no na, uh, it's a way to explain to Aki i mean that's incredible no and maybe just to segue to a question that maybe some people might be asking because this is after all the ang doc you know so uh, and and i'm sure you you've heard this question asked many times about your work no so the ang doc you is a festival of documentaries and And your your short film seems like you know it's a sci-fi film, it's a narrative. So maybe a question for of for for some people would be what makes this a documentary film? Like what yeah. makes this uh, part of a dang docu? You know? <laughs> it's my own. <laughs> it's, 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 it's my own documentation of 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 this time when I was and uh, when I was. Um, coping with trying to survive as a father and you know, and a filmmaker um, i'm still trying to inhabit this in between space um, um, between fiction and you know, and documentary uh, so in in terms of you know, of of uh, even showing you that these are bts footage of different productions making work that uh, react to a certain time that in itself is you know, enough for me to call it a documentary Um, to to combine them in such a way that is very personal in terms of um, being a diary of a filmmaker that is also in a way uh, very much a doc, doc, documentary for me yeah. Um, yeah. anyway um, documentary in fiction for me is very you know very I, I cross 
cross the line every time. I even see them sometimes as one. I, I sometimes see document everything is documentary or everything is fiction. Sometimes I don't know. I'm still I'm still navigating this. But um, at the same time, this is also uh, I'm very at home with with calling this first as a film. Um, but yon. So hopefully na sagot yung ano yung idea na yon. Ang gusto ko lang maano gusto ko lang de- <laughs> sorry ah in- in- ano sure, go go Patrick ano talaga ano I I think ano um I think documentation ko din as a process to sh- to ano to somehow make things practical to become a parent. Oftentimes we ano we we erase the family angle into the making of the work, even the presentation of the work. So at this time when I was I'm still making this document through, through from 2017 until do until now to 2020 we've been uh, incorporating um, aki onto the stage whenever uh-huh. we you know, our uh, family life and artists life are and, like and, magkasama, and, no? oh. and i would just say um na kagaya ng ano ng fiction and documentary like uh, work and family they're ano for me they're they're the same i, I have trouble separating them so i so i, I re- practically we will have trouble because we're just three at home to ano to to separate Aki away from me whenever I speak and even with with Shireen whenever yeah. whenever we speak no? so ayun talaga parang even, even my the projection of my my ano my 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 body of work I'm trying to cope with ano with the practicality of things so nakakatawa ewan ko kung matatawa ka dito Patrick pero <laughs> may joke sa circle namin na para mag-aano na ako mag-mainstream na ako dahil tatay na ako kailangan ko kumain <laughs> <laughs> So so parang inisip ko parang ano ah, kasi ang laki ng ano ng, ng respect ko sa ano sa those who can do ano mainstream or commercial films because this is an ano different beast altogether and as much as I want to I I really don't know how I will respond so this is kind of a secret joke for me to oh parang ang dami artista diyan ah may mga ano diyan um ang laki ng set ko no so parang But I really want to, you know, to transition into things that I'm not comfortable with. Um, also, because it's practical for me to think this way, um, to project oh. and to project, you know, how how we can support the family. But uh, knowing, sabi ng friends ko, knowing knowing me, parang hindi 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 talaga direct so yung ano yung path to it. So I'm again, I'm excited about the process of <laughs> of discovering how I will respond. Galing, no? So, uh, let, let me, ano, let the teacherly mood, no? I, I, gusto kong himayin ng konti yung sinabi mo. I found really interesting. Ako, yung instinct ko to, to define the documentary is really the process nga tama. But, but I was thinking of process in another way. So, yung process mo nga of like shooting the BTS, etc. Creating that discipline around parang the periphery of filmmaking is is documenting really. Um, and then there's something that you said na tama nag-resonate sa buong body of work mo is that you're really documenting your mind no your your life your your being kubaga kung sino yung tao at any given moment in his life ito yung document ng work ito yung document ng ano na yun, no yung yung pinagdadaanan yeah. na yun. and and suddenly that yeah you know everything that about this conversation where we talk about this process exactly the document of that that artist at this point but at the same time tama no index din siya ng yun index siya ng tokhang index siya ng future ng uh, ng pandemic And in that sense, it's also it also documents. So I love what you said when you say when you said that um, the fiction and documentary are in a way blurred because we create fictions, right? And that's your work, really. You, the fictions that you document about who you are, right? You you make sense of your life, and I think it's great that somehow it's sort of at the end of the da- damn doc, you know, because people people who've been following the the festival re- re- realizes or recognizes. Ang dami pa ng uri ng definition o forma o hubog ng documentary. Um, and I was also happy to note na ano, when I was editing this uh, parang dossier of contemporary Philippine cinema, um, uh, both documentarists and also uh, you know, experimental filmmakers point to your work. So parang meron din, tal- meron din talagang lines na pwede i-blur yung fiction, experimentation, documentary. Mm-hmm. Um, na itong short film na to is one good ano, testament to that. Wow, ano, natutuwa ako Patrick kasi parang ano eh, parang oftentimes I feel ano, being ano, parang pursuing processes that ano that maybe I couldn't really even talk to other colleagues about. 
um, I, I I get a chance to you know, to talk to very very informally and very casually with students even. No? So and and I I ano na isip ko na parang wow parang ang ano ang laking possibility to ano to even start conver- uh, conversing about process no and to have ano um, students um, encourage you even no with with ways you can formulate how how we can do things. And we we're talking about because uh, and the time middle ng ng sem no so parang inisip ko nga I could I could really even um what's this um justify that yung yung even yung films ko in my filmography can be seen as modules no of ano uh, of of trying to uh, 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 present a path into filmmaking that can be you know, that can be practical to other people who may want this as a, you know, as, a, as an example so from from very direct na parang diary footage to even fictionalizing through through sound through subtitles intertitles to documenting uh, people we know but at the same time having this sense that we are you know, sh- sharing this affinity or the same view of the world no but at the same time trying to ano trying to share this ano this 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 experience and process of making as a way to move forward and as a way to respond to the times no to respond to your own needs as well yeah. so yeah that, that's great no? so and i mean it's the way to wrap up we've run out of time no but i think it's it's also inspiring no to to give a sense to us na ang dami pwede whatever definitions we say of the documentary experimentation of narrative it yung trabaho mo both this short film and also your body of work suggests ang dami talagang paraan ang daming ways and means no and yun na nga nung minensyon mo it can be sound it can be subtitles intertitles it can be bts it can be ganyan no um i i think that's that's a great way to sort of round up the festival sa, sa, sa end na to, no? where we've seen a lot of documentaries. So, hindi pwede pa mangyari, pwede pang gawin despite the difficulties no, uh, we're facing. Um, so, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, John. It's thank you. Great. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> thank you so Ito much. Ito natin itong for... sa oh, next oh, alabas. <laughs> oh, ingat kayo, ingat kayo, ha? Ingat kayo. See you, see you soon. Thank you. Salamat, salamat, salamat. Okay.